program has brought, up, brought us together. Yeah, get to know each other quite well. And then due to this program, we fell a lot from each other, from each other's story, past. For over five years, Centre Care's focus on delivering humanitarian services has provided much needed support to the community. We've got a high population of young people from refugee backgrounds here in Wagga and to assist with their social inclusion, it's really good to have a program where they can come together culturally but also get um, the necessary assistance that they require in terms of their settlement. And what we do is trying to engage the young people in sport, which is a healthy recreation, uh, but also what sits behind the, the, the basketball or the soccer is a range of case management, counselling, mentoring, or simple homework help for them. Basketball is one of our passions. As uh, young Africans, we're trying to get our own team and, and keep the youth, you know, as well as the youngest, younger team as well. That's our target to get them to play what they love, you know, and I guess get them out of troubles, you know. While we're here, we can all behave. While the benefits are clear, these services have only been made possible thanks to funding partners, which are always highly sought after and ensure the survival of these programs. And the idea would be to have an ongoing contribution, say a three to five year sponsorship package, and in return for that package what we could offer the organisation is uh, social status. We see that a lot of organisations today, it's not just their staff that like to be connected to organisations that uh, demonstrate good values and involvement in the community, but certainly clients look to organisations that are socially conscious, environmentally conscious. So we see it's a way that organisations can boost their, their social status within the community. So what we found with local businesses is having their name as part of the team name and having the logos on the shirts. It's improved not only their social status within the community, but also their, I guess, their media coverage, their exposure, they're able to improve their consumer uptake. The other thing we like to do on our website is include our partners, our partners' logos, and, and tell a little bit about how we're involved. Centre Care offers a range of humanitarian services that require funding partners. These include the basketball initiative, training camps, and educational programs like REVD and Fire and Flood, which focus on personal safety. We thought that, well, it would be a good opportunity um, to provide them with information. Um, around how to keep themselves safe. Things like having a safety pack and where to keep your important documents in case you need to leave the house. That, that was important to give them. The benefits for such organisations like NRMA or others is that they are helping to build up the community because um, that's where the whole concept of social inclusion starts from and so they're helping to, to build up that community engagement and it's something positive. If we don't have the funds then it's really difficult for us to run the programs because the programs are usually at low costs or, or free so if we don't have that then we're going to be asking our clients to I guess give something and most of them aren't able to do that so funding bodies are really important to us. For businesses, the potential return on investment for supporting these programs is clear. To find out how your organisation can become community leaders, please call or email the Centre Care team and discover how we can work together to build a better future.